ones who earn a check The ones who don't sit at home all day and blow Percocet Cause I've seen a lot of people on that What is up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a burst effect where what I'm going to be showing you how to do is where the gun bursts out and it's a different colour and it fades off but you can do it with whatever you want you just depends on what you're masking you can mask whatever you want and it'll work the same so what I've got here is just a clip from my editing contest and I've just twixted the part where I want the effect to happen so what I'm going to do now to jump into this is actually first sorry you want to do something similar to what I am doing so whatever clip you're using you want it to be slowed down at the point that you're going to do this effect like say if you've got Twixter then use Twixter at 1% or if you don't have Twixter just use a snapshot in the point where you want it because slow motion won't work but you need to use a snapshot or Twixter if you have it so here I'm going to be showing you the gun bursting out so first off what I'm going to do is go to the part go ahead a bit to where I want the gun to burst out so I'm going to have the gun burst out here where this mark where my marker is now so I'm going to leave the twix to run for a little bit so once you've got it in the point where you want the effect to start you're going to want to go up here and change your quality to best full like this wait for it to load and once it's loaded click save snapshot to file save that and then turn your quality back down to whatever you had it because it will lag if you use a best full and this will come up so once you've got your image you just want to drag it down to where you took the snapshot which will be here and now you'll notice so far it just gets to this point and then it's the picture that's because we haven't masked it yet so that's what we're going to do now you just want to go into your layer you've just took the snapshot go into pan and crop and go to mask if you don't have vegas pro then you can't do this unless you use photoshop or something but yeah so go into mask and you just wanna mask around the gun or around whatever object you're doing it i'm just gonna do it rough just a quick one but you can do it nice and cleaner because it looks better then but yeah so if you're doing it behind like a building or something or if you're doing a building popping out or a character or whatever it works the same you just got to do the same process just by masking and stuff like that so I'm just gonna finish this mask off real quick okay so that was a really rough mask but that doesn't matter so once you've masked out your object you want to go over to here to the path if it's like that just click the plus and you want to go to feather type change it to both and go below that and hit this box and click the down arrow and just put it up to about 6.4 whatever what, somewhere around there and that just makes it if I drag this out it's a bit smoother that's obviously a crap mask but it doesn't matter so now we've got the gun masked out and this is where we're going to keyframe it in so once you've got it in the point you want it to start you want to go into pan and crop and go down to these little diamonds and click on the top layer because that is where the mask is and now it'll look like this but if you notice if I go like that that just makes the gun bigger because it's that's what I've masked out so what we're going to do now is go ahead about almost a second and just drag this really big about here and line it up with the like in line with the gun so it'll go like this it'll get bigger like that over time so now what so far it will look like this just preview it quickly for you to see so far it looked like this and you can just play around with the speed obviously I've done that too f slow so just change the speed down and oh, whoops, and preview that again okay that's alright maybe a bit tiny bit faster and now 
we're just going to drag where the where the pan and crop finishes just drag that the the duration of this clip down to where it finishes and go to the top right hand corner and change the fade offset to about a quarter or half of the way and we'll see what that looks like now yeah right this looks good yeah okay that's fine so now that we've got that bit done we're going to just change the color of it so you just want to go to video effects go to color corrector which I'm on here drag on default onto the top layer and you just want to drag the colors to whatever color you want so the first one doesn't really matter the mid drag that to blue and the high drag that to blue as well so now it's like a blue color you can do the top one if you want as well but that just makes it glow like you know obviously like that and it does that crap right there you go so now the colors are like this let's see what it looks like So the, there you go, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, that looks alright. So, I've got that with the 1 now. You can do it with 2 if you want, like I did in my video. And you just want to play around with the... Like, with the fade and stuff like that. Just to see what it looks like. And like I said, you can do it with other objects. And stuff like that. But it is a pretty easy effect. I just thought it would be cool to show it because it's pretty original. But yeah, if you like this tutorial, give it a like and comment because that always encourages me to make more. Because um, I'm going to be a little less active at the moment because i got a new camera and I'm filming more BMX and stuff like that. But I will be making videos and in real life stuff on here probably. But yeah, just bear with me. I will have a, probably have like one video a week now just to let my videos get more views and stuff like that. But yeah, so here's a quick little easy tutorial for you lot to use. Thank you for watching this video. See you later.